Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a Brenda Song inspired makeup look. Um, I decided to use her as an inspirational look because I don't feel like she's hyped enough. Like, I don't really see her around anymore, like, especially, like, on TV or stuff like that. So, yeah, I decided to use her because she's really beautiful and she's a great actress. And, yeah, I'm, I'll probably insert a picture right now because I don't think you could see it on my laptop. Okay, so I already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and my camera totally cut it off, but I put um, Urban Decay's eyeshadow in Sin all over my lids, and I already have eyeliner on my upper lash line just a little bit. Okay, so then I'm just going to grab a really beautiful uh, khaki green color, and I'm just going to pat this eyeshadow on. I'm just going to grab a soft brown matte eyeshadow color, just like this, with a fluffy brush. Tap off the excess, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting this above my crease. So on my crease, I'm going to apply Max eyeshadow in Rice Paper. It's a really beautiful golden like bronze eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this onto my crease. I'm going to take this deeper army green. And I'm going to pat this onto my eyelid. And bring it slightly up to the crease, just like that. I'm going to take a matte dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this onto the outer corner just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take a more orange based matte soft brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this right below the brow bone. I'm going to slightly blend just a little bit. Okay, then I'm just going to use my finger to pick up a matte white eyeshadow. Just like that. And I'm just going to um, pat it onto my brow bone. I'm going to be taking my favorite eyeshadow, um, Max Rise Paper. And I'm applying this onto the inner corner of my eye and my tear duct area. Just all along the lower lash line. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, the eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Artist Eye Crayon in black. Just take any black eyeshadow, I mean uh, eyeliner, create a thin line and it's going to gradually go thicker as it meets the end of my eye. I'm going to wing it out just a little bit. Her eyelashes make it look like she's wearing wing liner but I'm not wearing eyelashes so I'm just going to do that. I'm also going to be tight lining. Okay, I just grabbed a different um, eye pencil. I'm going to smudge it on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a liquid eyeliner and just make um, my eyeliner a little bit more neater. Okay, so she has tons of um, mascara on, and I'm going to take Benefit's Bad Gal um, mascara, and I'm just going to apply this onto my lower lash line. For my upper lash line, since I'm not going to be wearing um, false eyelashes, I'm going to be taking L'Oreal um, Voluminous Faux Sils Fiber Mascara, and I did a whole review on this, so if you want to watch it, I'll link it in the bottom bar. And you could curl your eyelashes and apply mascara, but I'm actually not curling my eyelashes for a while because I did that so many times and my eyelashes were like falling like crazy. And this mascara has fibers in it, so it's going to cling on to your eyelashes and make them appear longer. Okay, so this is the finished eye look. So 
So I use NYC's bronzer to contour my cheeks and then Max Cream Blush in Lily Scent. Then she has like a really pretty bronze glow to her, so I'm gonna take Max Luster Drops in Sunrush. For her lips, I'm just gonna take Max Cream Shin Glass in Partial Pink, cause her lips look like a like a really nice um, milky pink color. So this is a really nice milky pink color. So I had a really fun time recreating her look. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Kind of looks a little crazy on me, but I tried. Um, okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.